I have a question for you. If you could have one piece of equipment for your home workout gym, what could it be? Well, today, I've got a piece of equipment that's been a workout game changer for me. So I purchased the B-Bars from B-Blocks and they're basically adjustable parallel bars. I haven't had them for long, so this is going to be more of a first impressions video. And I can say so far, definitely loving it and I recommend it. So that sums up the video. No, it doesn't. <laughs> definitely not. Because you want to find out why, right? So yeah, I've seen so many YouTubers do this, but I um, thought I'd give it a try. Promise I won't do it again. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please turn those notifications on so when the next video comes out, you'll be notified. So what I'm looking at today is putting it together. And there's a few tips that I'm gonna share with you while putting it together. The benefits of the height adjustable bars and different exercises that I'm able to do. And then I'm gonna look at some things just for you to look out for based on my experience. And then I'm gonna sum it up of my first impressions of the B-Bars. So after receiving the B-Bars package, which I might add was smooth, I had no hiccups in the delivery process. It actually came before schedule, which I was shocked. When does that actually happen? So props to that um, delivery company. So I didn't film any footage of me unboxing it because it would look like a five-year-old doing it. I'm literally that bad. You should see me uh, wrapping gifts, but that's a whole different story. So you'll get two parallel bars, four T-bars. They're the legs, and then you'll get two brackets. Um, and then you'll also get 16 grenade pins, which lock everything together. Here's a little tip with the grenade pins. It took me a little bit to realize this, but there are actually two different size pins with the grenade pins. So the smaller ones go in the bars themselves, where the bigger ones will go in the base to connect the two bars together. There's actually not that big of a difference. So they look exactly the same as well. So if you've made the same mistake, don't worry, I've got you back there. Another tip that I found is to definitely put the bar on the ground and attach the legs facing up. It does say it in the instructions and it makes it a lot easier to line up the holes in the legs and play around with it just to get those pins in. When I was first doing it, I found it a little difficult to line up the holes properly with the, like with the pins. But as you do it more and more, it becomes a lot easier. Don't get me wrong, it's not hard. Like even I can do it. I just got quicker at doing it. So definitely don't do it like this. It does make it a lot harder. So once you've done it, it will look something like this. In the footage, I haven't attached the two brackets, but you just place the brackets between the two, add the pins in the holes, depending on how wide uh, you want it to be, and you're pretty much good to go. So the B-bars come in two different heights that are adjustable. To be honest, this was a big selling point to me because I wanted to be able to do pull-ups at home, but I didn't have anything to do pull-ups on. So the first height is quoted at 84 centimeters. In terms of my use case, I mostly use this height for rowing exercises where I need to keep my feet on the ground. I can still do pulling exercises, but it gets a little bit squishy. I do like this height for leg raises. Now with the other parallel bars, that's it. I'm stuck with this height, but with the B bars, let's adjust it to 127 centimeters. So now it's quite a bit higher, and this is the mode I use for when I gotta do pull-ups. Hanging leg raises and anything I need the bars just to be higher. I can actually do dips and leg raises, but I actually have to jump for this one because let's face it, oh, I'm pretty short. Okay, now here is a hot tip that I've discovered through playing around with the B-bars. Let's imagine you wanna do a superset of pull-ups and inverted body weight rows. So would you do one exercise and then quickly adjust the bars and then do the next one? It's just not practical, how can you do that? So what you can do is have one high bar 
and the other one low. So you can do your pull-ups on the high bar and then get straight into your body weight rows on the lower bar. Sometimes I do this if I know I don't need to have the bars at parallel or the same height. So whether you want to do that superset or you're just lazy like me, sometimes this is a great option that the big bars give you where other standard parallel bars, they just can't do this. Now there are some things that I want you to look out for if you decide to get the B bars for yourself. These are just some things that I've noticed from my short time using the B bars. So the first thing is just be wary if you're doing an exercise on one of the bars, there's a chance depending on how hard you're pulling and the angle that it can actually tip. If I'm feeling a little bit nervous, I usually put two dumbbells or you can use plates just to balance the weight so it doesn't tip and you just completely own yourself. Good news is that I've never had a tip with the weights on and it's not a massive thing, but I just want you to be aware of it just in case. The next thing is there's actually a difference between how supportive and solid the bars are between the low and high modes. The high bars are a bit more shaky when using it uh, compared to the lower bars. That's just because it's simply a longer bar and because of that, there's just more leeway in the bars and where the joints intersect. But don't worry, when you're using it, you're gonna be perfectly fine. I haven't had any issues and never felt like it was gonna collapse on me while I was on it. And this is probably somewhere for room for improvement. The rubber feet at the bottom, they do the job, but I'm not sure how long they will last, so the longevity of them. You simply stick them on, but I've had one of them in particular sliding to different positions. Not crazy, but just a little bit. And there's this green color, which I have no idea how it even got there. I'll just have to see how they go long term and we'll find out how they hold up. The last thing to look out for is the material of the bar itself. It's metal, it's solid, but it's prone to scratching. I suggest when you're adjusting the bars and they're upside down, just make sure you're on, it's on some soft material, um, just anything that it won't scratch. I usually use like my rubber mats, but that sums it up for everything to look out for. All right, let's wrap this first impressions up of the B bars. Now, if you're still here, thank you, you're the best. Now, the B bars has given me a way I can do my pull-ups and my rows. It's definitely transformed my workout. I think the biggest selling point is that you don't need a pull-up bar to hang on your door frame. Uh, you don't need any other kind of equipment. It's just already there. You can disassemble it for storage. And the big thing is it's adjustable. If it wasn't adjustable, you're stuck with only one height, it can really uh, restrict your workouts. But because of the adjustable height, I can do pull-ups, rows, all sorts of exercises. So from my view, from my first impressions, I'm definitely enjoying it. I can definitely recommend it. And I look forward to making another video in the future about how long it lasts. So will it break down on me? And will it actually break? Now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, please turn your notifications on. And I hopefully can see you in the next video.